Jesus told us that the reason he came to this world was to die for us. That's what it says in Mark 10, 45. Jesus says, I came to give my life as a ransom. You know what a ransom is? It's a payment made to set someone free. Jesus Christ paid for his life to set you free from the judgment in hell. That's why Jesus came to this world. I'm asking you to believe in the Son of God for your salvation. I'm asking you to believe in the person and finished work of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in John 3.36, He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. Do you believe in the Son of God? If you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and your Savior, you have everlasting life. You're going to live forever in heaven because of your faith in the Son of God. But if you don't believe in the Son of God as your Savior, listen to this. It says, He that believeth not the Son shall not see life. Instead, the wrath of God abideth on him. Think about that. If you do not believe in the Son of God, Jesus Christ, as your Savior, you don't have everlasting life in heaven. Instead, you have the wrath of God abiding on you. But I came here tonight to tell you how to get the wrath of God off of you and receive forgiveness and salvation through faith in Jesus Christ. You know why Jesus Christ is called the Lamb of God? Because he was slaughtered on a cross. He was sacrificed on a cross for sin. He died on a cross to pay for your sins and mine. That's what Jesus did for you and me. It says in, in 1 John, in John 1 29, it says, The Lamb of God which takes away the sin of the world. He's called the Lamb of God because he was sacrificed like a lamb. Sacrificed on a cross for your sins and yours and mine. Jesus Christ died on a cross and paid for all our sins. And if you trust Jesus as your Savior, young man, you're going to heaven. But if you trust some other way to get to heaven, you'll end up in hell. That's what Jesus said. He said there's no other way to get to heaven. And you need Jesus Christ as your Savior. So the problem between man and God today for salvation is not our sin. Because Jesus Christ paid for your sin 2,000 years ago. That's what it says in 1 John 2, 2. It says, He is the propitiation for our sins. Propitiation. That word just means that Jesus' death on the cross was sufficient as a full payment for all our sins. And it says, and not for ours only. Not for just for those of us who believe, but also for the sins of the whole world. That you'll find that in 1 John 2, 2. Jesus paid for the sins of the whole world. Your sins are paid for, young man. But you can't get into heaven unless you trust the Savior. Trust Jesus Christ as your Savior. I'm asking you to rely on Him. Depend on Him your faith completely in Jesus Christ and you're going to heaven but put your faith in something else and you'll end up in hell because Jesus said there's no other way to get to heaven you need Jesus Christ young man you got it I'll see you in heaven oh I came here tonight to tell you the good news it's really good news I've got for you listen to this it says in Romans 6 23 the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Did you hear that? God has a gift for you tonight. God's offering you a gift right now, young man. Jews, Muslims, it doesn't matter what you are. God's offering you a gift right now, and the gift is eternal life in heaven. Now, you can reject it if you want. Yes. No, I can't. No, I can't. I can't keep quiet. Well, listen, you, 
you really need to hear this, young man, because this is going to happen. I'm a devout agnostic Christian, so I didn't even hear any Oh, well, then how about the others that are not saved then? If they're not saved, don't you want them to go to heaven? You don't care? You don't care if they go to heaven or hell? I care. Jesus Christ paid for your sins 2,000 years ago when he died on the cross. He died for your sins, young man. If you will trust Jesus as your Savior, you're going to heaven. If you try to get to heaven some other way, you'll end up in hell. That's my message to you and everybody here tonight. That's what I'll say to you, that was absolutely rubbish. That's your opinion, you're entitled to. Would, would you disagree? Of course, I, I, why do you think I'm telling everybody? You need Jesus Christ. Sir, you need Jesus Christ, and you need Jesus. There's no exceptions. You too. Surely. None of us can get into heaven without Jesus Christ Surely as our that's Savior. Very, that's very kind of you to let everybody know. That's it is kind. Nice. Yeah, okay, it's loving. That's fair, that's fair. Everybody can make their own minds up. Yeah, I can't make up anybody's mind. I can't make you believe. All I can do is tell you the good news. Now, what are you going to do with Jesus Christ? That's my question. Will you reject him? Or will you believe he's your savior and go to heaven? What are you going to do with Jesus Christ? Yes. Well, you can personally be honest with you, I don't believe that one man can possibly die for the whole human race because of all the people that came after him. That's what you've got to believe if you want to go to heaven. You've got, well then fine. I can't make you believe, can I? I can't make you, but I can tell you the way to get to heaven. Listen to this. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. So Jesus says he's the way to heaven. He said he's the one and only way. He says you can't get into heaven any other way except through him. If you ever, if you ever decide you want to go to heaven, you've got to trust Jesus Christ as your Savior.